Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. This week, I'm adding another definition to our art history dictionary. Today's concept is a bit of a continuation of the video on chiaroscuro, or the use of light and dark in painting. I've linked it down below in case you need a refresher. Known as tenebrism, this technique takes the contrast to the extreme. So to learn more, keep on watching. According to the National Gallery, the word tenebrism comes from the Italian word tenebroso, it means darkened or obscured and is perfect description for this technique. Essentially, artists would only highlight the most important aspects of the painting, like facial features, hand gestures, etc., and the rest of the scene would be almost entirely in the dark. Some historians have even described it as a, quote, violent contrast between the light and dark elements. The famous Baroque artist Michelangelo Merced da Caravaggio, typically known by only his last name, is generally credited with the invention of tenebrism technique. However, there are some artists that started to use this technique before him, including El Greco and Tintoretto. But one can argue that Caravaggio brought it to light, pun intended, and made it popular. Now that we have the definition down, let's take a look at an example. This painting is often cited as one of the most perfect examples of tenebrism in art history. It's titled The Calling of St. Matthew and was painted by Caravaggio between 1599 and 1600. The main light in this painting doesn't have a visible source, though it streaks through the room from the top right corner. Some theorize that it is meant to be from an open door. The light moves towards the bottom left corner, highlighting a man who points at himself. This is St. Matthew. If you look closely at the right-hand side of the work, there is another man pointing at our main character. The obscure man is meant to be Christ, pointing out that he wants the tax collector Matthew to become one of his disciples. It was an unusual choice on the part of Caravaggio to place Christ in almost complete darkness. After all, he was often the center of all religious art during the Baroque period. Well, there's a simple explanation for that. This work is a part of a set of three that was commissioned by French Cardinal Matteo Contarelle. He wanted to show the life of the saint that he was named after and gave Caravaggio his first major commission. By literally highlighting St. Matthew, the artist was doing exactly what his patron wanted. If you are interested and want to learn more about this work, I have an entire video dedicated to it. I've linked it down below if you want to watch it. Tenebrism is used in some of the most dramatic works of art in Western history. This intense contrast between dark and light forces the viewer to focus and discover the details that might remain hidden otherwise. 